Here's a little more in-depth tutorial about the pen tool. Uh, if you want to select your pen tool, press the P on the keyboard for a shortcut key. Otherwise, you can just go up to the menu here and select the pen. So we're just going to create, uh, let's say, a little paw print um, just to show you some of the features of the pen tool. So I'm going to zoom in a little. And then we're going to just click, hold the Alt key, and I can drag some points out from this first point here. I go down here and click and drag up. You see these points coming out. It's just creating kind of that arc that you see here. Uh, so then you can actually hold the Alt key and it will. you can move one of these points around like this. If you let go of the Alt key, it will move both of them. So I kind of want to just hold the Alt key, drag it out this way because I want the other side of the paw to come over here. And then we'll just kind of click around here. And then I want to get back to the middle here because um, I want it to be the same width of shape. So actually, press the press Control U, and it will actually bring up these smart guides. Now I can see that I'm right in line with this top point here. Click back on your point here and then get back to the center. Now you see that we are lined up in the center here. So what I can actually do, I could actually try to draw the other side of this shape, but just a little shortcut here. Go up and select your selection tool here. You can do that by pressing V or clicking on the toolbar on the black arrow up there. And then hold Alt. After you click on the shape, hold Alt. And then click down and drag it to the side to duplicate that shape and then go up to your object menu here and then we'll go transform and then click reflect and it'll bring up your reflect dialog box here and what this does our vertical you can see I have the preview on here but the vertical axis is what this means or a horizontal axis so it will actually if it's a vertical axis, you see I click the preview here, it actually flips that shape over the other way. If it's a horizontal axis, you see it'll kind of end turn it like that. I can also rotate it to a certain angle. Say I want to rotate it at like a 45 degree angle. We can do that. But I actually want a vertical axis here because I want to flip it, kind of mirror it the other way. So go ahead and click OK. And then we'll drag this back over to the center. And these points actually are not connected right now. So if I drag it back over a little ways, you see they're not connected. But what I can do here is I can press the A key or actually click on this white direct selection tool up on the toolbar. And then I'll just drag over both of these to select both of these points here. And then I want to go up to the object menu, select path and then join, or I can press Control J. We'll do that for the next one. We'll select both of those, and then press Control J on your keyboard, and it actually joined those shapes. And you see over here in the color panel here, I actually have a black stroke around a shape that's not filled. There's no fill color in here. I actually want this black to be the fill color, and I don't want a stroke around it, so I'll actually just click this arrow here, and now you see that it turn to black. Now we want to give them some little toes up here so we'll actually just kind of click around here create some kind of oval shaped toes. There that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to match this perfectly it's just you know this is just a kind of draw as we go paw here but so actually I can take one of these hold alt while I'm have this paw selected here while I have this toe selected and drag it up this way and I actually want to change the angle of this so I can kind of hover over the corner up here and actually rotate this a little ways so you see that how I rotated and then actually drag over both of these with the black arrow selection tool. And then actually hold out, 
drag those over, and then I can go back up to our object menu, go to transform, reflect, and then I want to drag these about the same distance away that we had the other ones. So you see they're pretty close there. I'm actually going to bring those in a little ways because you see the gap that we have up here. So you can either use the arrow keys to move those or you can hold shift and push the arrow key and that'll actually multiply the movement by 10. So you see it moved over quite a bit more. I'll do the same thing with the other one. Hold shift and press the right arrow key and there it moved it over even more. I'm going to do the same thing here with these two just to give them a little more space. And I'll zoom out a little. Now you see we kind of have our paw here. It's a little thin down in here, so use this white arrow here. And I'm actually going to drag right across here. And you see that it selected everything from here down. So I can actually then click that. I can actually drag just this bottom portion down a little ways. You see this top portion, the rounded part by the toes, isn't moving because I don't have it selected. So hold shift and just drag that down so that it doesn't move to the side or anything like this. So just hold shift and drag that down. 